I know they're in here somewhere. I gotta find them. I gotta find them before she does. No. Okay. They're not in there. And don't fall over anything. We don't want her coming in. either. Is it down in here? It's stickers. That's not it. It's in here. Stickers. Oh, is this it? Yes. What are you doing? What are you doing? Uh, 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 nothing. I just came in here to find some stuff. Why were you in here with a flashlight? Why didn't you turn the light on? Oh, I have the flashlight because I didn't want to turn the light on. That sounds mighty suspicious to me. And why do you have that bone folder in your hair? Well, it's in there to hold my hair up. It was hot today. Come on. You and I need to have a talk. Okay. All right. I'm coming. I saw that. Hello, everyone. Leslie here. I have some secrets that I think I need to share with you. This video is directed at the brand new paper crafters. If you do cards, watercoloring, um, art journals, scrapbooks, whatever is covered under paper crafting, if you're brand new to it, um, you'll get really excited about doing a project. You'll see someone on YouTube or wherever that has a lot of experience and they know how to work their tools and implements and they make absolutely beautiful items. And you get so inspired by them that you either hot foot it to the local craft and lobby uh, craft and hobby store and purchase the stuff to recreate what someone did or you order it online and impatiently wait for it to arrive and then you make your first project and you're so excited and you you just can't contain yourself to get this thing created and you work away at it and you follow the steps and then you take a look at it and then you wish you hadn't done it or at the very least you wish it looked as good as the person that created it. That happens to everybody that starts out in crafting. So please know that. I have several examples that I'm going to show you. Now I can use the excuse that uh, I'm not always home to craft. I get little blocks of time over a year, uh, probably totaling about two months over one entire year to craft. So so when, when I get one technique down, then I'm gone for several months. And then when I'm able to come back, 
I can't remember what I did. And uh, so I have to start all over. So I'm going to use that excuse. Anyway, I'm going to show you my dirty little secrets. I had been to Club Scrap on their website and watched their videos on their uh, assembly line craft uh, scrapbooking, which is a trademark term. And I got so excited seeing how they cut the papers and laid them together and made these gorgeous layouts. Well, I didn't pay any attention to the kind of paper that was required, uh, like a cardstock base. So I, I just. I just printed off some of their PDFs on how to cut the papers and how to lay them out. And, oh, I just started going through the papers that I had. So I have this lovely two-page layout. And the problem with this is it's text weight paper. This is, this is just thin design paper. There's no cardstock behind it. And the only cardstock that's in it is right here. So that's where it's stiffer. <clears throat> and I did it again. Now this is kind of a little bit heavier paper, but it's still not a good quality cardstock. So uh, it still is kind of limp. And color. Anyway, it's text weight. These will, these will only be good if they're inside a sleeve of a scrapbook album where they will be protected. And it won't matter if you use text weight paper or not. Uh, but if you put heavy embellishments on, like flowers or uh, anything heavy, then the pages, this thin paper will sag under the weight of those items. So, I was kind of disgusted with myself, and I shoved these away and went back out on the road and castigated myself for days. Oh, man! Wasted all that money! Bueno, bueno. The next thing is flowers. I have a jar full of disasters. And I was, oh, when these flowers first came out, the making of these accordion fold flowers, when they first came out, I was so excited to try it. Well, they turned out pretty bad. And, and again, I was really kind of disgusted with how things turned out that they've been dumped in this jar and they remain in this jar until maybe I can find some place to use them. See? Aren't they just absolutely fabulous? And then the other disasters are some die cuts. And this one isn't too bad. I think I probably could make use of it, but this one? Oh, mercy. This one would make your mama cry. And I tried my hand at rubber stamping on flowers. And I did about as good a job of rubbing, rubber stamping on flowers as I do on cards. Uh, an unsightly mess. And then I tried using alcohol inks and stains on some of these. And uh, the results are less than stellar. This I would consider my box of shame. There's this one. I wanted to use a pretty scalloped edge on my card and do something on the inside. And, well, you see how that one turned out. Look, you're going to be more critical of your work than anybody else. There will be somebody that says, oh, that looks fabulous, and you're thinking, what's the matter with that person? 
because you're more critical. This is another one that I made. So I decided to put scallops on both sides. I mean, it wasn't bad enough that I had scallops on one side. I had to do it twice. Yes, uh, I figured do it once, do it twice. How about three times? Yes, indeed. Let's, if the first time doesn't work and the second time doesn't work, then let's give it another shot. Okay, so if you're a brand new paper crafter, please take heart and know that as you go along and as you work on the things that you enjoy doing, making cards, uh, making scrapbook layouts, making smash books, art journals, watercolors, whatever it is that you are doing, your stash of dirty little secrets will diminish. They, it will get smaller. You will become more confident in your crafting and you will get excited about creating. I promise. So any of you new crafters out there that are worried about what you're doing, concerned about your talents, keep going, keep doing, keep watching, keep learning, and you go show someone how special they are. Bye!